Hi guys, I got a new story for you today. It's gonna be good this one. So um, I'm sure you know about David Chappelle. Um, David Chappelle had a new order comedy special on Netflix and it was kind of gangster, right? Actually, he was actually making a lot of joke about transgender people. <laughs> and you're gonna be like, why is he making jokes about transgender people? Well, it seems that he met one that had a very interesting dialogue and he was, let's just say, impressed that pronouns was not the issue. He, the person did not define themselves as pronouns and they became actually like kind of good friends. Such a good friends that after sometimes she was agreeing with Dave with the first special, she got hounded the way people were describing that no other girl you can find it online after the next time that um for some odd reason she committed suicide i believe it was caused because they pressured her a lot the transgender community has done that why do i believe that this is the reason there are porn stores that for example did not want to have funky funky with men that had funky funky with men because she was afraid of AIDS. They got bullied also, and they committed suicide. If it was my wife, and my bosses at their work hated her for being Christian, I would say she committed suicide for that. Hey guys, remember to like the video, hit the bell, subscribe, share the content, and leave a comment below, not to go away from the story. So Dave Chappelle made the next one. And he already had the hatred, he had the transgender person that agreed with him, but committed that thing. And it, it's sad. He actually talked about the special that the amount of money he's making, he's gonna save a part to give to the daughter of this transgender person that passed away. It's quite clear he jokes about people, but he still appreciates them. It's a joke. People make jokes about my eye. It's a joke. It's not real. Even my family. But they don't consistently say it's one good joke and it's a new day. We, we don't, we're not going to talk about it. You, we don't repeat jokes. If you have people that repeat jokes, just slap them. <laughs> don't really do that. But you get my point. If they're just using the same stupid old joke, I agree. A good joke, you don't need to repeat it. And most jokes are not funny if you repeat it. So do not make a rule that you want to make for stupid people than one joke from a comedian that you're not going to hear every day. But the quote is that everybody's going to say after that, yeah, but it go it's going to lead to violence. No, that's not true. Because that means any other person that says something in a very enraged way, in a funny way or whatever, do you really think I'm just walking around, well, hey, what you're saying is going to lead to violence? If you want to do that, most women are being violent. Because most women are actually more confident these days to say, hey, man, you are you have a small peepee and all those stuff. What? You, you, you're not feel attracted to me? Oh, you're a F word, you know? So who, why, why are we giving you special treatment and nobody else? Oh yeah, because um, transgender people are gonna commit suicide. Oh, what about the military people? What about the police? What about all the other things right now? That is the definition by Twitter, why we, we can't be anything to transgender people, but on that way. And you know what's the irony of this whole story? They're, they were doing a walkout of something gangster, and then they fired one person. And this person, I'm not even sure if he's transgender or not, I believe he was black, but this is the bad thing. This person was leaking gangster information. Look at this. The employee was terminated on suspicion of leaking metrics to the press related to the David Chappelle special. Those metrics about how much Netflix paid for the closer and how many people it reads subsequently ended up in the report on Bloomberg. While the employee had shared the matrix internally, they spoke out against the leaks to colleagues, worried they might hurt the walkout movement. The leaking of internal data is highly unusual at Netflix. While the company prides itself on transparency, employees are told that the culture can only thrive when Netflix data remains internal. What I find weird, why would you do something illegal 
get fired because of it and you want to use the woke point that you're going to get because they fired your type of color or how you identify as a reason you did that only because it it's that reason you know you did it because i was black or because i was straight why would you do that that is such a negative way to get pr moving and that is something that i don't like about this society people realize that being negative is how you can promote yourself that's how you get clout and i don't like that a lot of people don't like that i don't want my personality to be reflected in a negative thing that was done to me i'm not the black guy with one eye without appearance with ms i'm fabian a different person treat me as a person this person one of these transgender activists that was so proud for what they're doing for the walk out that they're being racist against us yes you need to give us money create a department for transgender people bada beam bada boom breaking down what solidarity and allyship uh, and community is supposed to look like they've already fired one person they already tried to suspend another so we've seen very clear examples of how Honesty and straightforwardness and candor is rewarded with termination. It's rewarded with the threat of your ability to survive in your livelihood. This is just like a Black Mirror episode. The person that keeps calling everybody racist has a bunch of racist tweet. It's like, it's like, how can you be a good racist finder when you are a racist yourself? An Asian poop act like they won't get karate chopped that mother freaking throat. What the poop? Mind you, beeswax. Latino and Asian businesses need to stop being rude and boop, disrespectful. And I know it's a lot to ask to in CA, but you uh, speak English too. Another damn Asian almost hit me while crossing with the uh, with y'all and damn vehicles. I have an ID. This Asian uh, in the subway got a fat uh, uh, uh. He almost looks like a uh -huh from behind. Oh man, are you objectifying the body of a man or something? Just broke my phone on this Asian uh -huh head. I have Asian friends, but they some mother uh -huh weirdo sometimes. Almost got hit by an Asian in a BMW as I crossed the street. Yes, I know what you mean, but the important thing is we didn't say it. Woo! Racist, bada beam, bada boom, to the girl, to butt. I don't do Mexican Asians or Samoan. Whoa! Whoa! Just cause the Asian. Whoa! Clean the. Woohoo! Out. You mess up my order and then blame me? Beep! Never order again. So, first of all, I want to thank Liberal Hive Mind because um, the tweets I got it from his page and his video. He has some interesting views, so you can have a look at him. But other than that, um, it just surprises me that usually the most racist people are the people that scream the most racist things. You know, as if they have a right to do something that you don't because they have experienced something bad in the past. I don't mind if you call out people, but it shouldn't be because you had a bad experience. It's because you want a better experience for everybody. And you can trust almost nobody. This stupid video of David Chappelle of a walkout, look at him. from back in the day like in the 1980s I don't know what the heck is going on this world is spinning and I'm glad David Chappelle and most people are starting to be like stop it 
I don't want to walk on the banana that you put on the floor and say you're making the world more beautiful and yellow. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, people, just let me know what you guys think about the whole situation. It surprises me, but um, I don't play games anymore. I don't translate your lingo. I'm going to do me. And if it offends you and you find it violence, I don't care. Because silence is violence too. Because I'm not saying, what? What? It's going to reach a moment that you can decide anything is violence. Are you freaking kidding me? The fact that you dressed a kid like a woman without the parents consult that silence is violence? If you if if you, if a woman starts screaming at a man, pee pee is small and nobody says silence is violence from the woman that says this and the people that listen and don't say anything, that's all that's violence too? Where are you? I don't want to normalize that. Everything people were saying in the 80s, this is going to happen when you let a man marry a man. Look what happened. You can marry whatever you want. You can marry a dog. You can marry a toy. It happens. So with these words too, that's why people fear it. Because whenever we approve something, it's not that we approve one thing. It leads to something new as if you're used to that power moment that you really want. And I don't like that. Nobody likes that. So if you think this is violence, nah man, so violence is if I beat you. If it leads to violence, you need to confirm where it leads to. You have to put that in place. But you're not putting anything in place because you like moving the goalpost. And as long as I know the goalpost is going to move, hey man, then I'm a violent person then. Who cares? Because whatever I do, you're going to move it again. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, 